Fernando Velarde. Introducing the starters for Ipus Men's Volleyball Team. Starting off with their team captain, number 22, Ish Polvorosa. At jersey number 6, Kim Malabunga. Wearing jersey number 8, Rizuan Mohali. Number 13, Roniel Rosales. At number 15, Francis Saura. Jersey number 24, Hero Austria. Starting the barrel is number 5, Rico Marmetto. Head coach is Mr. Sami Akailar. Now let's call on the starters for NU Archipelago Builders. Calling on their team captain, number 20, Joseph Bellio. At number 12, Rosmel Tagibolos. Jersey number 16, Brian Haleko. At jersey number 17, Leo Ordiales. At 21, John Abanilia. Wearing jersey number 24, Mac Bandola. Starting libero is number 15, Marco Maclam. Coach is Mr. Raymond Franza. This is match number 37 of the preliminary rounds between Emus Men's Volleyball Team. Back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center starters of Emus. No change for Coach Sami Akailar here. Uh, and again, we mentioned four players in double digits in the starting lineup. Uh, 18 for Malabunga, 19 for Austria, 11 for Saura Rosales with 14. Meantime, for NU, a little bit of a change. Ajay Abdul is not going to be in the starting lineup. He will come off the bench. Uh, Tian Floresca also will not start. Uh, Brian Haleko and Joseph Bello, the team captain, in the starting lineup today uh, for National University. No coach Dante Edinsonurit for now. They're um, on the way after winning a five-setter against UP in the uh, UAAP men's tournament. So here we go. Hero Austria, 19 points. Uh, currently number 18 in scoring. He's done everything for the team. Uh, formerly from University of Perpetual Help, Delta Systems, Altas Ishpolvorosa, set to serve. Uh, celebrating his birthday on the 22nd of March, turns 26, Ishpolvorosa. Retraction, Malabunga, ball is still alive. A great hustle play by Imus, but somebody touched the net, so a violation against Imus gives the first point of NU here in the opening set. So we see that both of these teams are very tall players on oh, the floor. So, yes. you know, one of the things I'm really looking forward here is the interesting battle at the net. At the net, that's right. Oh, that's an over hit. It's way off. Players still pretty cold to, uh, to start things off. Jam Jam Abanilla with the attack error. Uh, meantime, Rizwan Muhali, 14 points, back-to-back, -back, double-digit performances. Prior to that, he had 10 points against Cotabato. Good serve, good receive. Bandola, off the block, yes! That's Mac Bandola, former NU Bullpup. Uh, right now, part of the team E of the men's division. Peng Tagwibolos. Back-to-back service errors for National University. Not a good start, uh, Ivy, in terms of taking care of the ball. That's right. You know, uh, you gotta. We have to remember, you know, that they've lost several games because of those unforced errors. So I think, you know, for a pretty young team, well, that's one of the things that they're certain learning and joining these kinds of tournaments is an avenue for them to learn, especially in closing out. That's you right. Know, it's very important. Really helps them improve. Mm -hmm. And they get a free point as well from former uh, Bulldog Kim Malabunga with a service error. Good pass. Pulvarosa sets it up. And an easy kill for another former Bullpup. Oh, uh, sorry. Bulldog, Bulldog. in Francis Saura. <laughs> and that just could be interesting as well, you know, because these youngsters are playing against their seniors and their mentors. So probably, you know, while they were still trying to learn the game, they've been seeing these uh, athletes already in action. Uh, block at the net for Ibus. Courtesy of Rosales. Good dig. Now overpass and outside. Too much excitement in trying to keep that ball alive. 
What's interesting here, Eric, is that the number three best spiking team is going up against a number two blocking team. That's right. That's Imus, number three in spiking. Number two in blocking is and National you, University. Yes. Makbadola, currently the number six server in the tournament. Let's see what this looks like. Good receive and pass by Austria. Austria is rejected by, you mentioned this, the number two blocking team, Ivy. They're showing us why they're ranked so high. And usually that defense at the net, you know, well, maybe we see them at the bottom of the rankings, but that is exactly one of the reasons why they would give their opponents you know, difficulty uh, trying to score a point. Another block, back-to-back -back hill blocks, and don't look now, National University is sitting on a two-point lead. 6-4, opening set. Take a look at that last block once again. Perfectly timed. We have to remember this is a must-win game, of course, for Emus. Yep. If they want to make sure that, you know, that they, they keep that spot. Kaleko. Dug up by Marmeto, Polvorosa to Austria. Hernandez keeping it alive. Haleko once again down the line. Saura picking it up. Rosales rejected by Haleko. Saura will set it up. Austria tips it. Sent right back. Polvorosa back to Austria. Yes! Right on the line. Powerful hit by Austria. And you can see, you know, how very uh, a smart player Austria is the variation of the attacks in that uh, sequence he had he did it for the tip he went for down the line angle and this time around he chose a cross court hit former NCAA juniors MVP hero Austria with a jump serve Haleko Austria digging it goes outside but Muhali picking it up keeping it alive chance ball for NU through the block Ordianes with a kill. Excellent running hit. Was red by Buhani, but uh, that was just too strong for him. Oh, Service on the line. Sir. So back to back points for Ordianes. And. NU on top by three as we get to the first technical timeout. 8-5 against Imus. You're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2023 live on One Sports Plus. Now, a must win game for the Emo City Aja Spikers. And actually, they daw nila yung four day break nila because they were able to do team bonding that um, they haven't been able to do before this conference. So, what they did, they started off with a team heart to heart talking about each other's shortcomings, especially that they all have different behaviors. And then the management brought in some food after para makapagsalo salo daw sila to get rid of the Ilang factor and the bonding went well and hopefully we will see the improved chemistry in today's game and hopefully they'll be able to secure their spot at the top four. Back to you Eric and Ivy. Alright, thank you Ayana. Well, right now the chemistry is evident but they have not been able to solve the blocking of NU that's been doing so well. Attacking as well as Haleko punches that through the double block of Imus. That's right, so uh, and you, you know, they're playing quite aggressively today. <laughs> and I think, you know, that's the thing also when you really have nothing to lose. So there's, they have so much to gain oh. from this game. But Mohali getting into the scoring picture as he knocks in his first point. 
That was a perfectly executed play. Let's take a look at that once again combination. Well, that really broke, broke the blocking of NU. But Imu still down by two here. Seven serving nine. Delio sets it up. Pancake saved by Marmeto. Chance ball for NU. Two players around the ball. Bandola let it go. Um, Haleko was there as well. This communication right there. So it's a one-point game. A two-point run here for Imus. Chance to tie on the Polvorosa serve. 8-9 opening set. Haleko with a good receive. Abadilla. That's outside off the block. And a point for NU. It's going to be a challenge here very quickly. Saura saying there's a touch. It bounced off one of the Bulldogs. So Coach Sammy and the staff, this the block touch challenge is up. Saura is pretty confident about that last touch on the side of NU. So wait a minute, they didn't even review the second referee, the second, Fernando yes. Bernardi, uh, spoke to the first referee and they turned it around. So no review necessary. A call was overturned. So three-point run for Imus. The game is tied at nine. Chance ball here for Imus. Polvorosa goes to Saura. Saura knocks it in. Saura over the blocker, seeing that empty spot in the defense of NU. Very tight floor defense in the part of NU, keeping back area way open. Olvarosa, now a four-point run for Imus. A little push there from Tagubilos. That is outside though. No touch. So the run of NU, or make that Imus, ends at four straight points. That was a good run though from Imus. And, uh, definitely they would not want to give uh, Enu any momentum. Oh, oh, Malabunga on a running attack. And he's saying, this is how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Kim Malabunga coming off an 18-point performance. A spectacular running attack there. He has been known for that running hit, of course, when he was also still in Enu. Imus up by one, 11 serving 10. Muhali with a serve. Haleko picking it up. Bello sets it. Bandola on the line. Only one blocker going up against Bandola. That was a good play executed by NU. Bello kept two attackers tight on that opposite side. Service error for Peng. Taguibolos. That's the fourth service error on the side of NU here in the first set. 12 serving 11. Over received. Easy kill for Rosales. Rosales coming off a 14-point performance. 14 of those points, four blocks. That's off the block of Austria into the antenna. A lot of powerful hits and attacks so far here in the opening set for both teams, really showcasing their offense. Served by Abanilla. Saura. Uh, dug up by Hernandez. Oh, a little one-two play. Bello is showing us his versatility. And that definitely caught Imus by surprise. They did not expect Bello for that uh, one-two play. Joseph Bello, who did not play, wasn't even in the lineup right. in that loss against Santa Rosa with a good start here today. That service outside, though, for Jam Jam Abadilla. Francis Saura with a serve. Bello. And that is wide for Bandola. Wow. 
Imus back up by two. Francis Saura out of Davao. Oh, nice pass. Bello. Bandola. Dug up by Marmeto. Polvorosa sets it up. Austria. Oh, right there. The middle attack. Rosales. Abadilla trying to keep it alive. He does. Baklan will send it over. Chance ball for Imus. Polvorosa goes back to the middle. Rosales catches the line. And Imus will take us to our second technical timeout. Marmeto has been passing so well, allowing Polvorosa to set up their middles. And Rosales sends us to the technical timeout. Imus up by three over NU. Three-point lead for Imus. 16-13 after the second technical timeout. Saura continues to serve. Bandola. That's a save by Rosales. Hero Austria. Yes! Hero Austria. Uh, currently plays for the... University of Perpetual Help. He's an Alta as well under Coach Akailar. Bandola, tough angle. Polvorosa, one two play. Easily read by Ortiales. Austria, there's a net touch. Gonna be called against Ortiales. Imus well, starting to run away with it. That's right. And, and you, of course, would need to be careful with these unforced errors. <laughs> Biggest lead for Imus right now at 5, 18, serving 13. Combination play. Bandola with the left hand this time. Bandola had to be a little bit more creative. I think he's not getting the kind of sets that he wanted, but I was able to adjust well in that last sequence. Serve into the net. For Mac Bandola. Fifth service error on the side of NU. And again, you know, these errors are really going to cost them. Especially down the stretch for the, right. towards the tail end of the opening set. And they're trying to cut this five point deficit. Austria had one ace in their game against Iluilo. That is outside, though. Third for Ibus. Sometimes you really have to wonder, though, like without of these, without these service errors, uh, and you would probably be tied with Imus at this point. That's true. That's how important it is to take care of the ball, because in a rally point system, every mistake is a point for the opponent. Oh, nice delivery by Polvorosa. Rosales battle at the net. Yeah, Rosales wins. Uh, you gotta stay alert when you're at the net. Take a look at that once again. Well read in terms of coverage, but yeah, Rosales is just too quick for that. And Rosales also an Alta, by the way. Bello sets it up. They go to Haleko with the push. He, uh, Haleko is rejected. Shot is short for Abadilla. Nothing going right for the Bulldogs. They call a timeout. We will listen in. Yeah, 
Saka pag gano'n, daan-daan lang natin. Huwag na tayo magpadali. So pag binilisa natin, ah, wala yung timing natin. Ha? Hindi yan. Oh, just echoing what you said, Ivy, uh, coaching staff here of NU, asking the players to limit the errors. You know, I guess if you really look at it, NU really has the material. So it's, it's basically, if you look back at the games that they have played, you know, they, they give the opponents uh, a run for their money, but it's just that you know when they commit these errors, it's it's quite difficult for them to bounce back, and it kind of affects you know how they play. Saura, that is. I think it made it to the line. Let's see, let's see what the call is. Lines judges are not making a signal, so first referee will give the point. Say it's outside. Give the point to NU, but there's a challenge here by Coach Sami Akailar. Ball in, ball out. We'll take a look. Right now, and uh, Imus in a good position. They're up by six. Uh, Polvorosa, the team captain, talking to the players. They're still. They, they look pretty loose right now right. and uh, enjoying because they have the lead. Take a look at that once again, Ooh. and it is clearly in. inside. Yes. The thing with the men's game is, it's just the ball is just too fast. It Even is. the lines judges, that's right. they didn't make a call. And that's 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 the thing really about it. That's why you know that's the beauty of having a challenge system because it gives at least gives you a, an opportunity to take a look <laughs> at that once again. You know, really, you know how fast. Yeah. The balls are here. And yeah. I mean, we're watching live, and sometimes we even you, yeah. cannot, we cannot you see. Exactly. Service error for Imus. Biggest lead was seven. It's uh, back to six for Imus. Bello with a serve. Austria picking it up. And a push. A set was off for Malabunga, and he could not send it off cross. So two straight errors. For Imus and Coach Akailar will call a timeout here. We'll listen in. Silang service, tayo ang magre-receive, tayo ang atake. Dapat puntos yan, okay? Go, go, go! Go, guys! Guys, pag ano, better double tap. Hey, Imus! Hey, Imus! Hey, Imus! Hey, Imus! Coach Sammy Akailar, one of the winningest coaches in uh, the NCAA, and currently the head coach of University of Perpetual Help. Uh, looking to protect. Uh, this five-point adva advantage. Uh, their lead was at seven. Oh, nice combination play. And Buhali puts it away. And this is what Coach Sami wanted over the, when he mentioned over the timeout. You know, they're receiving the ball so that they have the opportunity to attack. He wanted to get a point and the team delivers. Bello, nice pass, but it goes wide. So now this is going to be seven set points for Imus. Here's Polvorosa, the three-time UAAP champion. Bello, underhand set. Abadilla saves one set point. Six set points more to overhaul for National University. Haleko. Good pass. Oh, Malabunga, nowhere to go. Rejected by Peng Tagupolos. Good block. Red. Excellent play by Tagupolos. Two set points saved by National University. Five more to go. 
And that's outside from Muhali. Muhali throws it away. Oh, attack error for Imus. And now, three set points gone. Coach uh, Sami Akailar burns his final timeout here. Hey, Ito yung maliit. Muhali. Okay, pagpasok nito, maganda bola, mag-fake ka lang 4 ka. BBC ano, to be. Ah, kapag bini ito, ikaw ang sumingit. So ang gitna natin, kinumpress ko yung play, okay? Pag pumakit ng bola, gamitin mo si ano. Kasi ito yung maliit niya. Desisyon naman kung kanina may bigay ang bola. Cover tayo ha, cover, cover. Okay, pasapakit ka well, if you can hear, Coach, uh, Akailar Muhali is going to be an important mm -hmm. part of this next play. That's right. Well, he actually gave a very specific run-through of uh, what he wants to happen. So uh, it would be not the usual kind of play that they would execute. Let's see if they, uh, how they would be doing this. Of course, it all has to start with a perfect pass. Brian Haleko with a serve. Three set points already saved. Malabunga, Haleko over received. Marmeto picking it up. Polvorosa, Muhali gets it off the block. And after throwing away three set points, Muhali and the rest of Imus take set number one off that kill and get a five point win here in the opening set. It's five-point win for Imus against NU in the opening set of the second match of our uh, triple header this Sunday. Uh, take a look at highlights of set number one. Uh, NU was off to a good start, Ivy, but uh, it was the tables were quickly turned around by Imus, and when they got control, they never really let it go. That's right. Uh, we've seen a lot of good sequences, a lot of good exchanges, and uh, NU actually you know, was able to uh, match things with Imus for a while, but uh, like you mentioned, once the Emus got that lead, they never looked back and never gave Enyu any opportunity to recover. So Emus was basically very aggressive, you know, all throughout the the set. And uh, here we can see the numbers in terms of attack points. 20, uh, 14 attack points here for Emus. And uh, not surprisingly, that Enyu gets the most of the blocking here. Three big blocks here for, uh, for Enyu. And uh, that actually gave Emus also a a little challenge at the front of the net and that's why you know in, in, in certain timeouts we can see that coach Sam is really giving out specific instructions already and in how they would work around their way around that uh, at the end of the day still the errors plaguing here at you and you know again when the when these errors are committed those usually are the big factors that affect the game for it set number two uh, and you looking to bounce back after losing First set so by five. Team captain uh, Joseph Bello to serve. 
bad pass. Polvorosa with an underhand. But they still get the point off a broken play. Austria coming to the rescue. Not the strongest of hits, but just the right placement. And I think Andrew is still expecting a strong hit even after that broken play. Aleko bouncing that off the net court. Austria gets it through the double block. Great save by Bello. Polvorosa, the back set, a little too low for Saura. Bello, back to Haleko. Yes, what a drop by Haleko. Smart move from Haleko. Haleko reaching back and dumping it down. Rico Barmeto. Libero out of FEU, unable to make something out of it. Overpass and Polporosa unable to set it up. Two straight points for the Bulldogs and they have the lead here early in the second set. Ryan Haleko sends it into the net. Instead of going up by two, they, the game is tied. These are, you know, the effects of unforced errors that NU needs to sort out. Polvorosa picking up the attack. Saura against three blockers. Yes! That's what they say, never keep your eyes off the ball. Saura with that attack now has five points to his name. And you on the attack. Yes, off Buhali. Bandola with the point. Bandola, oh, one of the top scorers now for NU with five points. Nice receive there by Austria. And Saura rejected up top. By Bandola. And you back on top by one. Pentaguibolos from Arellano serving. Good pass by Marmeto. Austria. Marmeto picking up the tip. Rosales sending it over. Bello will set it up. Blocked by Rosales at the net. Back row attack, a push. That's overpass. Austria winning the tip and will tie the game at four. Let's take a look at that one once again. That was actually already an overpass, but Hero somehow, you know, made something out of that. Didn't give up on the play. Austria now serving. Oh, nice dig by Haleko. Aust oh, another overpass and an easy put away this time for National University. That's Ordianes with a point. A lot of overpasses we're seeing now on the side of Ibos. Jam Jam Abanilla with a serve. Not a good pass there. Saura, Saura gets it back and fires it in. Saura puts it between the two blockers. Too much space in the blockers of venue. So a lot of uh, area to work with there for Saura. Solid block oh, by Rosales at the net. Good coverage though. Another block by Rosales, back-to-back -back rejections for Imus. Oh, but this time around, there's no stopping Bandola. No blockers on the side of Imus after that, you know, after two of the second blocks. But we have to commend Enyu with excellent coverage. This is that uh, point for Enyu. Bulldogs back up to, uh, on top by one. Solid rejection of Rosales. 
Now Haleko with a block. And Enyu leading by two here in the second set. Better performance we're seeing here now for Enyu. Served by Bandola. That's a legal play. Back row, Austria. Right on the line. Yes. Amazing first ball we've seen there from Saura. Rosales with a serve, one point game. Imus trailing by one. There's a block against Haleko. One two play, Polvorosa dug up by Abadilla. Back row. Through the block of Malabunga. That's a point for Bandola. And Enyu sends us to our first technical timeout here in set number two. Take a look at Bandola from the back row. One on one against Malabunga, and he gets the advantage. 8 6 Enyu over Imus, second set. Welcome back to the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2023. Now, Eric and Ivy, earlier you were talking about how aggressive the NU squad is playing right now. And actually, it's because head coach Dante Alin Sonorin gave them a challenge, and that was to play and give their 100% to end their campaign. Now, this NU squad consists of Team B players who are trying and are motivated to prove themselves to make it to the Team A lineup. But for now, what matters for them is that they gain competitive experience in this Spikers Turf. Back to you, Eric and Ivy. And of course, competitive experience is definitely what they will gain. And you know, we've been mentioning this that for Ed, while they are in the bottom of the standings, there's really a lot of uh, things for them to gain by joining this tournament that uh, they've been playing with uh, against the best players in the country. So you know, more than just about winning, it's really the, the takeaways for each of the game. And they've been performing better here in set number two. A lot of aggressiveness we see on the side of NU. So it's just a matter of how much or how long they can sustain this, but the things are going well so far for the team. It's nine serving seven. Captain Bellius uh, ready, getting ready to serve. Serve is good. Combination play, Austria off the block. Once again, Hero Austria scores a point here for Imus. Take a look at that last sequence that comes off the hands of the blockers from NU. And Hero Austria against three defenders able to get it through. Imus still trailing. They're down by one. Eight serving nine. Bello sets it up. Solid block by Nabunga. Jam Jam Abadilla, nowhere to go. What a, an excellent defensive play by the former NU Bulldog. The game is tied at nine. Chance to take the lead on the Polvorosa serve. Another defensive play. Excellent blocking at the side of Imus. It's not the offense right now of Imus Ivy that is. Uh, Giving them the advantage. Yeah, it is a blocking. And there's, I mean, Enyo is doing very well. Yeah. You know, there's there's really nothing wrong with what they're doing right now. It's just that he, he, he was just blocking, is working. Over ball. And it actually was a little short. Uh, Malabunga uh, not ready for it. It's hard to also gauge how the ball is going to bounce off the right. net. So 
and really made it tough for Malabunga to keep it alive. So an easy point for NU that time. The game is tied at 10. That was, by the way, the first lead of uh, Imus. Austria! Oh, that made it to the line, according to the linesman. There's going to be a challenge. Yes, there will be a challenge. By National University. If successful, it's going to be NU taking the lead here, 11-10. If they're unsuccessful, Imus goes on top by one. National University, uh, no more shot at making it to the top four of the standings. They are currently ranked 10th out of the 11 teams in the tournament. They uh, have seven games in already. And they will play three more, including this one. Meantime, Imus is in the top four. They are actually ranked fourth in the standings, but they need to win here in order to keep VNS away. Right. And remember, VNS beat Imus in five sets. That is outside a great challenge by National University. So NU will get the lead here. And they'll go up by one, 11-10. Another lead change here in the second set. It's been a close one That's so right. far. Exchange of points already. Marmetta with a good dig. Good receive. Oh, that was a good block as well from NU. Saura rejected by the younger Bulldogs. And NU leading by two using their defense here at the net. 12 serving 10. Marmeto with a good pass. Polvorosa to Malabunga. Bello. Solid block by Saura, but good coverage. Chance ball here for Imus. Saura on the line. Take a look. Nice setup here. Only one blocker against Francis Saura. Clearly not good enough. Kim Malabunga, a silver medalist in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. And there's a kill in the middle for National University. That's a point for Tagui Bolos. Take another look. Great approach. Things are going looking well here for NU. Meanwhile, we see a Mermetto. Uh, at the sides, I think in the, in the last sequence he got he got hit by uh, Ishpul Barosa. So Marmeto will sit down. Chavez, number ten, Louis Chavez is in the game. Had eight digs in the last game for Imus. Austria currently the 18th in scoring, eighth in spiking, and sixth in receiving in the tournament. What a serve! A good pass there from NU. Beautiful kill for Abanilla. Perfect execution at the side of NU. Uh, jam Jam Abanilla out of Dumaguete. A big fan of Army's Ran Ran Abdila. Austria with a great receive combination play. Muhali puts it away. Combination play here for uh, Imus. Let's take a look at that once again. A lot of options actually for Ish. Yeah. Well, that was because of the good receive. Right, exactly. By Austria. Uh, and speaking of receives, this is a bad one for NU. Oh, so it's going to be tough. But Badola, <laughs> despite the presence of Rosales and Polvorosa, a tight double block, he gets it through, Ivy. Right, that's right. This is difficult, you know, when the ball is coming from behind you, and it was very high at that. But a good push there. Still a two-point lead here for the Bulldogs, but attack error for, uh, sorry, service error for Bandola. Back Bandola. There is uh, Marmeto getting some treatment after he got knocked over by Polvorosa. Give it. 
Bello sets it up. As a block against Taleco. And just like that, Imus ties the game at 15. Chance to take the lead here, Imus, and to send us to our second technical timeout. Imus, their biggest lead is one point. That's an overpass. Oh, good defense, though, at the net by Bello. There's a tip. It goes outside for Malabunga. Malabunga wanted to swipe that out from off the hands of the blocker. And that error cost Imus the lead. And you on top, 16-15 against Imus. You're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2023. Now, here's an update on Libero Marmento of the Imo City Aja Spikers. Actually, nasiko po yung left eye niya. Currently, there is actually a cut on the outer part of his eye and it's bleeding, it is swelling, and it is also very red. Um, there, It's not sure yet if there's any corneal abrasion in his left eye, um, but currently they are icing it. So let's see. Hopefully, he will still be able to see action in this game. Back to Eric and Ivy. All right, uh, thank you, Ayana. He seems to be okay. They uh, put a tape over the cut of the left eye of Rico Marpeto. So let's hope he's okay to, um, well, at least number one, he's okay. And then uh, hopefully he's okay to come back to the right. game. Right. There's a call against the hit from Imus. It bounced off the antenna. We're not sure if it's off the blocker or straight from the hitter. Right. So that's uh, where the challenge would be raised now. Uh, so Imus is challenging. Antenna touch. So the call uh, by Mark Santos was um, it was straight from the hitter. Uh, that's why there's a challenge yes. from Coach Akailar and Imus. And right now, Imus trailing by one. It's been a struggle for Imus here in the second set, Ivy. They've ha they haven't been able to take control, um, and they've been playing catch up. That's right, you know, and like we've mentioned, you no know, NU has they went off a good start in set number two and continued on with it. So this is the challenge is being called. Oh, it's a touch by the blocker Bello. Yes. So challenge successful for Imus. Yeah, they will get the point here. And the call will be overturned. So it's 16 all now. The game is tied. Muhali is serving. Rizwan Muhali, one of three players from uh, Perpetual Help in the starting lineup for Imus. Great pass. One, two play for Pelio. And he has been very successful with that. Look at that once again. Advantage of a lefty. And a tall setter right. as well. <laughs> Bello serving now. Good pass. Austria gets a little help from the net cord and scores the point. The game is tied once again at 17. It's a broken play. Not a good perceive, not a good pass as well. But sometimes you get lucky. And Austria now with eight points, seven from attack and one from blocking. Good serve by Pulvorosa. Haleko. Ooh. Set was far and he tried to uh, do some magic That's right. in the air. Bello apologizing immediately. 
And again, no uh, Dante Alinsinuri in the uh, coaching staff right now for NU as they are still on the way after winning a five-setter against UP in the UAAP. Pass by Haleko. Cross-court attack. Oh, but the net violation error will be called up against Evo, so that's a free point for NU, and we are now tied. 18 off. And Imus unable to pull away. Well, NU as well. Both teams in a seesaw battle so far here in set number two. But the good thing about NU in this uh, in this set so far is they're trying to keep it close. Yeah. You know, so they managed to get the lead. Uh, although we're tied right now, but the, that was good coverage. Once again, easy dump. <laughs> tip. Oh, NU on a roll here. You also gotta love the energy we're seeing the side of NU. Yep. Take a look at the dump here. Malabunga was a little late and it was above Austria. Right. So he couldn't do anything about it. NU up by one. Malabunga. Bello trying to keep it alive to no avail. The game is tied again. Just both teams trading points here. Well, this is a good match that we're having here. And, you know, I think re for any regardless of the outcome, this is a good match that they played. But for Imus, you've got to be worried. Oh, yes, if they, they can't put away the number 10th team in the standings, how can they, you know, have a, a standing chance against teams like Cotabato right. and Signal? And yet we have to remember that this is a must win game for yep. Imus. While they are already there at the top four, we can check the standings, but. In order to make sure or solidify their spot, this is a must win for them. Uh, time out here for National University. They're down by one. We'll listen in. Do we go now? You do it? You know, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to Spacing lang tayo, ha? One. Alright. Ha? Si Buwan tayo, ha? Ready, ha? Gawa ng paraan. Gawa ng paraan. Ha? Gawa ng paraan. Basta maganda pasa. Huwag masyado, huwag masyado maganda. Pwede yung pasok kape nga. Pasok maganda. Well, National University, a little concerned here. We're down by one. They are, and like what you mentioned, Ivy, they're in a good position to steal this one. They've been keeping it close. And this is an opportunity for them to steal a win, to steal a set. Oh, but, and Malabunga uh, assisting a little bit inadvertently, of course, with the service error. So the game is tied at 20. And you didn't even have to work for that That's point. That's right. So things are getting exciting here. <laughs> so, but again, this is going to be a test for these youngsters because they usually wala sa closing out yeah. exit matches. So, you know, this would be a, a good way to test that and develop that. Peng Tagwibolos with a service error returns the favor, and Imus is back on top by one. If you're Coach Sammy, you're wondering, um, we, we've got to really start playing almost perfect volleyball because if you make it to the top four, there's, it's it's going to be a, a round robin between the four teams, and they've got to really play at such right. a high level. So this performance right now, as you see, uh, an over receive and an easy put away for Buhali. They've really got to dominate to show that you know they're a contender because if they can't put away a number ten team, they they really will struggle against mm -hmm. Signal. Signal's not undefeated. That's right. Nine and oh. That's right. And they haven't dropped a set yeah. so far. So, and uh, well, uh, these two teams, uh, the, the other opponents like VNS is still knocking yeah. at the door actually for for the fourth set, so a fourth place rather. Good attack and a point for NU, and still a one-point game. Imus just can't get away right now from NU. Another bad pass. Chance ball for NU. Let's see what they do. Bello. Austria with a dig. Austria back row with a push. Yes! Beautiful play. Excellent put out there by Austria. Uh, Barilla uh, a little hurt after colliding with Hernandez 
trying to dig this one. Take a look. Two players going after it. And Hernandez hurt his abdominal area. A substitution for Coach Akailar as Ray Taneo, a former team captain of the Altas, is in to serve. And also for setting duties, Josh Villanueva also in the game for the first time for Imus. Serve is good. Underhand pass by Taneo. Here comes Austria. Back row into the net. The game is, uh, well, and you within one. And you with nine service errors so far in the match. Oh, but they get an ace there. A beautiful serve coming from Mac Bandola. Chavez not ready for it. Much needed ace. Yep. Take a look at that once again. Perfect straight serve. Chavez much better received this time. That's into the net. That didn't cross. That's right. I don't know if they're going to challenge it. No, no challenge from Coach Sami Akailar. Muhali with an attack error. And just like that, NU Ivy had set point. Three straight points for National That's University. Right. From down 21 23, they're up 24 23. So this is a good uh, comeback there for NU. So this is going to be big for them as well if they, they win the set. Austria with the receive. Muhali. Oh, another error. Back to back errors for Rizwan Muhali. And Imus drops set number two after leading by two late in the set. What a turnaround here in favor of National University. This is that three point given by Imus to NU. So that's a four point run right. by NU. NU. And they take the win in set number two, 25 23. National University uh, come from behind with in set number two. Uh, steal a set here against Imus. We'll take a look at highlights of set number two. Well, it was bound to end in a close one because of how the entire set went, Ivy. There were uh, very few uh, big leads mm -hmm. for these two teams. In fact, there wasn't any. Um, two, three-point lead yeah. and then the, you know a deadlock and then a uh, lead change. That's how it was. That's right. It was... You know, from the beginning of set number two, it has already been very tight. And uh, I think NU did a good job in trying to keep, you know, uh, just keep themselves into the game. And Ibos, on the other hand, you know, they've, they've created also a lot of good runs for themselves. But it's, it's, it's just towards the end. Yeah. So it was just uh, the last few points that it was a make or break, you know, for Imus. Uh, they were equal footing, and it comes to attacks. They actually did very, they did better at the blocking 
with four big blocks for Imus. Um, very good numbers in terms of errors, very low. But what really changed this is when these numbers or these errors were committed. So you know, it was very unfortunate that it had to happen towards the last stretch. So that um, gave Enyu actually two free points you know, at the end of set two. A four-point run for National University for Mac Bandona and the boys. Allowed them to get the win in set number two. So we're tied at one set all as we kick off the third set. Abanilla dug by Austria. Polvorosa to Mohali. And Mohali, after the two crucial errors down the stretch in set number two, gets the first point of Imus here in set number three. Mohali with, uh, now with nine points. He, along with Austria, leaves, leads the top scorers for Imus, followed by Saura with seven, Rosales with three, and Malabunga with four. Meanwhile, on the side of NU, Bandola with 13 points, a lone double-digit scorer for NU. Abanilla with four, Ordiales and Delu both with four points, and Dagibolas with three. Here's Malabunga on a one-man block. Imus. A 2 nothing start here in set number three. Good pass by Haleko. Here comes Abanilla. Yes! So, there's a good point by Abanilla. Haleko serving now for NU. Polvorosa sets it up. They go to Saura. Yes! Good hit from Saura. See him facing cross court, but goes down the line. Mohali with a good serve. Not a good pass, though, from Bandola. Polvorosa with the dig. Austria, that's actually an overpass. Austria able to tip it. Bandola once again. There's a block touch. Yes, yes, there is. It did touch the blocker. It's the fingertips of Malabunga, I think. Take a look. Bandola backing up. And there's the attack. Uh, oh, yeah, was, yeah, clearly. A block touch. Buhali with a receive. Saura, dug up by Haleko. What a powerful hit from Jam Jam Abadilla. Good run we're seeing here from NU. Off the hands of Austria. Taguibolos with a serve. Mohali with a good pass. A little tip by Malabunga. Taguibolos keeping it alive. Battle at the net. Won by Bandola. And there is Austria with a kill. Another tight exchange to start set number three. Hero Austria with a kill there, but it's just a one point lead for Ibus. Four serving three. Oh, bad pass by Bandola. There's a tip by Ordiales, and nobody ready as Imos is caught flat footed. Now we're tied for all. So this is getting interesting. Big donut hole in the middle of the defense of Imos. Good pass by Austria. Rosales with a kill. Better delivery right there uh, from Ish Pulvorosa. Bello sets it up. Here comes Bandola. Uh, Austria with coverage. Austria gets it back. Austria fires one in. Over received by Haleko. Rosales battle at the net. Austria with coverage. Francis Saura doesn't like it. Sends it over. Bandola. Yes. Bandola has been earning his points also with that power tip. 
Uh, right now, Enyu exposing so many defensive lapses on the side of Emus. Five ball, Bandola to serve. Good receive by Muhali. There's an easy kill for Rosales. I mean, when it comes to offense, Emus does not have a problem. It's just they can't defend against the uh, attacks of right. National University. 6-5, Oslia with the serve. Bello. Uh, set was a little too close to the net. Haleko just pushing it over. Here comes Muhali. Good receive. Bello. Back row, Bandola. That's on the line. And again. Point goes to NU. Yeah. So many defensive miscues for Imus, and it is being exposed here by National University. Six all. Ordiales into the net. If Enyu didn't commit as many errors, they probably would have a two, three point right. advantage here in set number three. Time, Romel Rosales. Service ace, miscommunication in the side of Enyu. Maklang let it go, thinking Haleko would pick it up. Take a look here at the service ace of Rosales. Maklang was right there, the libero. Right. And that takes us to our first technical timeout. Imus up by 2.86 here in set number three. Spikers Turf 2023 Open Conference. Now, something that head coach Sammy Akailor wants his team to do today is work as an Imus family. In the huddle, he actually told his squad that they need to be more cohesive by accepting his system and forgetting their old systems. And when this Dina Sila Malilito, they need to be more strict with each other. And he will also be harsh in this game. But after, of course, magiging malambing ulit siya. Back to you, Eric and Ivy. All right, thanks, Ayana. <laughs> That's the. Uh, you know, dilemma of coaches, you, you have to be hard, but you also have to uh, know when to pull right. back a little bit because these players obviously have feelings as well as you look at Haleko's score there. But you know, a team is like any family, right? So you would always <laughs> have that head of the family who can be strict, but at the end of the day, you feel all the love and care. <laughs> Combination play, Buhali. Uh, Imus in a better position here, up by three. 10 7. Uh, Ritzwan Buhali on the attack there. With a little help from the net, just to keep that ball out of a. Uh... 10 serving 7. Maklang picking it up. Abanilla. Polvorosa goes to Saura. Nowhere to go for Saura. Good block on the side of Enyu. Bolos had a hand at that. Malabunga with a dump. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Muhali with a good serve. Abanilla. Good dig from Saura. Oh, that's went straight into the net. Point goes to NU. And here it is again. No errors for both teams. A slim two-point deficit against Tagbibolos. Oh, they throw it away. And uh, those services are costing. I mean, I, both of these teams had had their share of errors, but uh, NU really had to work on those uh, service errors. Good pass by Haleko. And a nice little off-speed hit there for Jam Jam Abanilla. No coverage behind the single man block for Ibus right there. Muhali a little late to the ball. It's a two point game. Polvorosa underhand pass goes to Austria. Austria is rejected. Polvorosa getting to the ball again. Austria tries. What a save from Hernandez. And Bello sends it over and off the block. Rosales touched it last. And you on a bit of a roll here. They are within one. Good run. For NU, this is actually an excellent save here. Yeah. And Benio somehow bounced it off the single man block. Block on ban by Bandola on Saura. Austria fires one in and, and scores. That is inside. Good coverage on the side of Emus. And they needed that point. Otherwise, NU would have been on a three point run. Badly needed score and kill for Imus, and they have a two-point lead. Overpass, battle at the net, won by Austria. Bandola. Rosales rejected, but the block goes outside. So two straight points here by Imus to answer right back. Saura and Imus have a... Well, had a three-point lead. Now it's down to two. Mark Mandola wants to be a coach. And some players, they say, I want to be uh, a pro. He wants to be a coach after finishing his collegiate stint. Nice combination play. Austria knocks it in. That all started, of course, with an excellent first ball by Chavez. Take a look at that. Driving perfectly at Ishpol Vorosa, not making it difficult to execute that combination play. Hero Austria coming off a 19 point performance in that five set win against Ilo Ilo. Service outside. Imus just unable to get momentum. I mean, they can string up a couple of points, but they, you know, nothing more than a two point run. Right. Partly because, you know, the errors that they commit also on their side. So uh, they have no problem with the attacks, and we've seen that set number one, set number two. So they're, they're passing well as, as well. Belio sets up Haleko. Rosales keeping it alive. Chavez to Muhali, rejected at the net. Excellent block from NU. So a two-point run here for, for NU after that service error and then a block. John Rivera in the game for the first time for Imus to replace Muhali who struggled here. Good pass by Chavez. Rivera nowhere to go. It's a three-point run right now by NU. Her last two points coming from kill blocks. Right. Again, it was not the errors on the side of uh, Imus, but the, these were points earned by NU. Excellent blocking. They're not number two yeah. for anything. <laughs> Ordiales. That serve was outside, but Saura picking it up. Back row attack, Austria. Yes! And Imus, courtesy of the Austria kill, ends that three-point run by National University. And Imus leading by a slim one-point advantage over Edu here in the third set.
back here at the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center on a Sunday afternoon, the second game of our triple header in the open conference of the Spikers turf. Imus looking to solidify their position at the number four spot in the standings with a win here today. As they, they are being chased down by, by VNS, a team that beat them in the couple of games back. And right now they're in for a fight here. One set apiece against the youngsters from National University. Good block by Malabunga on Bello. Battle at the net. Won by Haleko. And Rivera sends it outside. No touch from the blockers. And one of the struggles we see here in the side of NU is the over ball. But they've been giving quite a number. So yung talagang uh, control is very important. So 16 all. And lead of Imus, which was at three at one point here in the third set, is gone. Dump by Malabunga. Yes. Beautiful play by Kim Malabunga. One point lead for Imus. Is Pulverosa, the five time UAAP best setter. Over receive. Malabunga back to back points. And Imus on top by two. And you continue to struggle with ball control. You've seen a lot of that happen here over ball and coming from the side of NU. Is Pulverosa out of Cavite. Went to Anabu Elementary School. Aleko with a good pass. Aleko gets it back. Fires one in and scores. Another uh, defensive uh, mishap for Imus. Take a look here. There's a huge hole again in the middle of Imus's coverage. There's only one blocker going up against Aleko. Polvorosa. Great delivery to Malabunga. Aleko keeping it alive. Pantola sends it over. Combination play. And Rivera scores. Take a look at uh, Rivera coming from behind Malabunga. Knocks it in. John Rivera out of Ateneo, former Blue Eagle. He was protecting a two-point lead. Bello sets it up. It's Pandola. Could have been outside. That was Doug. Austria. Maklan keeping it alive. Bandola comes up short. They had the right thing in mind. But uh, not able to execute what he had planned. So a three-point advantage we're seeing here from Imus. This is their biggest lead of the set. Bello, they go back to Bandola. Received by Rivera. Austria on the way up. Rejected. Good coverage by Malabunga. And Rivera will keep it alive. Send it over underhand. Bello, combination. Bandola with a push. It's on the line. Yeah, that power tip has been working very well for NU. A great play by number one by Bello. Leaving Bandola with just one blocker. Substitution here for NU as Floresca will come in for the first time. He is or was a starter. Tian Floresca played in the 2019 Palarong Pombansa. Uh, one point in their loss against Santa Rosa. Austria, solid block right there by uh, Abarilla. We can say that that is a huge block. It was a single block against one of the strongest hitters of Imus. Take a look at that once again. Uh, time out here. My coach Akailar, his lead is down to one. Nandito si ano, si Kim, tama si Kim magbibi. So, sumingit ka rito para masira sila. Isa-isa lang eh, one is to one, ano niya, parang nag-basketball tayo nito eh. Isi yung isi, ano, ito, pupunta rito para siya ang porsyento. Ulitin ko ah, tama siya magbibi. Parang yung bita mawala, sumingit ka. All right, let's see if uh, these adjustments can be implemented by Imus after that timeout. Uh, you are still seeing Chavez on the floor, uh, sitting in for 
Rico Marmeto, who was uh, inadvertently elbowed by Ishpul Varosa in the second set and uh, continues to recover, having a cut on his left eye. A serve here by Tian Floresca. Well, Barossa sets it up and an easy dump by Kim Malabunga and back to a two-point lead for Ibus. Well, Kim Malabunga has always also been successful with that with his dumps. May mga power tip ito sa side nito ang NU. Yun naman mga dump to Kim ang hindi makuha. Badona knocks it off the block of Francis Saura. It's back to a one-point game. Abanilla getting ready to serve. Oh, that could have been out. Chavez picked it up. Here comes Austria on the attack. Yes! Fires it, and it's off Abanilla. Getting back after he got blocked by Abanilla earlier. Abanilla apologizing to the bench. <laughs> so it's a two-point advantage now for Imos. Now, big question is, can they protect it? Oh, Benio, miss hit. He knew it. And it's uh, back to the biggest lead once again of Imos at three points. Now, let's remember, we know NU can come back. Right. It came back from uh, two set points down in the second set. Timeout here for the Bulldogs. They made a big four point run down the uh, stretch in set number two, so no, they right. have the confidence. That's right, you know, it's, it's not impossible. They've done it before. Yep. A pretty calm timeout, actually, and I think it's really more to break the momentum of Imus. Imus on a small two point run. And now they're protecting a three point lead. Francis Saura is serving. Aleko with a good pass. Bandola. Is there a check ball? No check there ball. There is no check. And no challenge as well. So it's four set points for Imus. But remember, they had two set points in the second set and they lost it. Now let's see if they can finish this off strong. Ortiales dug up by Saura. Here's the closer. That is outside from Rosales. So one set point thrown away by Imus. And they have this tendency, Ivy. We saw it in the uh, second set. So let's see who has the end game here. Oh, Coach Akailar wants to make sure that they do. So he calls a timeout. We'll listen in. Diba dito ka? Oh. Yan, 4. Ito blocker mo. Yung nasa iyo kung saan ka mamimili kung kalinong bigyan ng bola. Kung sa kayo yung spiker, isipin nyo lagi sa inyo ang bola. bola. Binibigyan ng setter. Okay? No, may papalo. Ang gagawin sa likod? Lalo Rivero? Yes. Yay! Just, you know, oh. And set reminders yes. by Coach Akailar. So, you know, Mopalo, we're going to receive and all that just to make sure that uh, every know, everybody knows what they're supposed to do on the floor because they don't want this to slip away. Again, they had two set points in the second set. They lost it. And now there's, they still have three set points after giving up one. Over set there by Polvorosa. Dump attempt by Haleko. Polvorosa sends it to Austria. Austria oh. rejected. So another set point saved by NU. Well, that was another good block. It was really rude this time. Let's take a look at that once again. Nowhere to go for Austria. Three-man block. Good serve. Austria will try again. Catches the line this time. And NU, will they challenge? That's the question. No, no, no challenge. They won't. The challenge. Uh, so that's it. Austria, the hero in the third set with this cross-court attack. Take a look. 
that's clearly in as well. So, after giving up two set points, Imus winning. Uh, third set, 25-22, and are up two sets to one against NU. A little bit of a scare for Imus in the third set, but they uh, were able to keep their composure and win by three. And now we're up two sets to one against National University. We'll take a look at some highlights of the third set, Ivy. Well, again, this is another close set. You know, both of these teams just neck and neck at each other. Two points advantage at the most. Or three, it probably led as much as three points at some point. But, you know, they kept it close and all the while. And... Uh, a lot of good sequences we've seen that good defense has been rolled out and Enu's blocking has been uh, giving Imus a hard time, especially here in set number three. And a lot of good defense also being shown by Imus and uh, a lot of adjustments, of course, on the side of the defense that we can see that still can make things easier here for both of these teams in set number four as we take a look at the numbers. 17 attack points for Imus. And uh, this is what we're talking about, five block points from NU. And again, more than just the five points that we see on the screens right now is the ca capability of, you know, the, the blocking advantage over the attackers of the opponent. So that really made it difficult for Emus also to, or to get a run. Well, final set for Taguibolos and the Bulldogs. Uh, meantime, Rivera, part of the starting lineup of Emus here in set number four. Here we go. Set number four. Joseph Bello to serve. Polvorosa sets up Saura and gets it off the block. And that's Imus going on the board first with a kill, with, a, with an attack and a kill. Aleko, cross court, yes. Good cross court hit. And again, the young Bulldogs exposing some of the defensive inadequacies of NU. And there's a lucky serve for Brian Aleko. Aleko played. 2019 Palarong Pambansa boys team. Chavez with a good pass. Malabunga with a push. Hernandez keeping it alive. Haleko will set it. And an easy ball. Coming from number 24, Badona and Austria. That's it off. A block touch. Take a look at that attack from Austria, right? in the middle or passing through the hands of the blockers. To all, set four. That is just wide for Malabuma. Kim Malabunga will sit down 
Malabunga currently the number six player in scoring, number two spiker. And he ranks number 10 in blocking. Saura. Haleko picking it up. Abadilla. Good dig coming from Polvorosa. Pass was not good. And Francis Saura puts it away. Take a look here on the back set. Francis Saura right there. Game is tied at three. Bello with an underhand set. That's into the net for Haleko. Yeah, not a lot of unforced errors on the side of Enyu. That's two free points already being given to uh, Imus. And that puts Imus on top by one for serving three. One-handed save from Chavez. Back row for Rivera. Bello sets it up. And save is no good as Bantola will score. And only one blocker going up against Bandola. Overpass. Bandola picking it up. There's a chance ball for NU. Bandola back to back points. Bandola now with 20 points for NU. And the lone double digit scorer for the side of the Bulldogs. Mac Bandola puts NU on top by one. Five serving four. This is a two point run for the Bulldogs. Austria. This is the combination play that Coach Sammy was looking for. Imus playing catch up. They tie the game at five. Good serve from Austria, but a better pass from the Bulldogs. And an easy kill, Ordiales. Excellent execution for the running hit on the side of NU. Take a look at the good pass by Maklang, allowing Ordiales do a running attack and you back on top by one six serving five Bandola big by Chavez a little tip by Rivera is good perfect pass there from Chavez this is another uh, Imus is really doing a lot of combination attacks right now combination plays but despite their efforts they've managed to tie uh, so far, and have not been able to take the lead. Ooh, miss hit by Ordiales. And you can hear it from the way he hit the ball as well. So, attack error from Ordiales, and Imus is on top by one. Rosales with the serve. Baklan, bad pass. Back row. It's outside for Abadilla. So much power on that hit from Abanilla. And that puts uh, Imus on top by two. 8 6. First technical timeout set number four.
You're still watching the Spiker Surf Open Conference 2023. Now, Eric and Ivy, another reason towards why head coach Sammy Akailar wants to extend Imus Ajo Spikers' campaign in this conference is because finally, makakalaro na si Brian Bagunas in the semifinals. And for those who don't know, Brian will be coming from Taiwan. They're just finishing up his league. But head coach Sammy knows that Brian will help make their semifinals run a breeze and hopefully push them to the finals. Back to you, Eric and Ivy. All right, thank you, Ayana. He was supposed to be here about two games back right. but uh, they uh, you know things happen it wasn't able to make it but uh, they hope for his return very very soon and uh, of course one of the best ways of best timing rather yeah. is that if they're able to make it to the next round then uh, they have another reinforcement he was leading by one back row Abanilla, that's not coming back He was up by two, nine seven. Ishpul Verosa serving had twenty five excellent sets against Iluilo, and that didn't cross the net for Tagui Bolos. Bank Tagui Bolos, part of uh, the Arellano Chiefs, went seven and zero. Oh in season 95 of the NCAA, but uh, that obviously season got cut due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He was up by three now. This is their biggest lead of the set. Oh, a service error from Ish Pulvorosa. That will be the second uh, for Imus here in this set. Joseph Bello. Did not play against Santa Rosa and only had five points against Army in the previous game. Austria, that's way outside. Austria was calling for a touch, but there was no touch according to the referee. Uh, Austria now with 19 points, 18 from attack and one from block. So Austria has uh, matched his previous game output of 19 against Iloilo. There's a net touch challenge here by Coach Akailar and his staff. We'll see. Imus they had a three-point lead. Uh, it's down to two, but if this challenge is unsuccessful, it's just going to be a one-point lead for them. Imus currently fourth in the standing. And uh, they are just half a game away from VNS, a team that beat them. So they obviously want to get this win to secure a more, or to get a more secure footing in the top four. So the call was a net, uh, the challenge was a net, net touch, touch, not a block touch. Yeah. And the challenge is not successful. So that three-point lead of Francis Saura and Imus, now just one after that uh, unsuccessful challenge. I think the oh, challenge was, was supposed to be for a block touch, block touch. but somehow the, what was raised was a net touch. Polvorosa sets it up, combination play, Rivera nowhere to go. And the three-point lead of Imus has been erased. Game is tied at 10 as Rivera will sit down and back in is Buhali. After starting in the first two sets, he came off the bench uh, here in set number four. Uh, but. Will try to change up the offense here and be a spark plug for Imus. Pushed by Malabunga is returned. Saura against three blockers over hits the mark and sends it outside. Four point run for NU right now. As coach Akailar will change setters. Take a look here at the Saura attack. It's way off. I think he was also trying to aim for the hands of the blockers. So Polvorosa will sit down and Ray Taneo will check back in for Imus. Four unanswered points for Joseph Bello and the rest of the Bulldogs. Taneo will set up Muhali. Yes, that stops the run of NU. Ritzwan Buhali will tie the game at 11. He serves. 
Haleko with a good pass. Haleko gets it back and fires it in. And you back on top by one. He has been attacking very well with that cross court hit. Another point there for Haleko. Right in between the two defenders here of Eos. Chavez with a bad pass, and that's gone. And you now with a two-point lead after trailing by three points. This is surprising uh, for uh, the number two receiving team. Imus really struggling with the service receives here. Malabunga with the dump. Good play there from Imus. But Imus playing catch up here in the middle of set number four. 12 serving 13. They're down by one. Good pass. Bello. Dump attempt. Austria rejected. Excellent defensive play by the duo of Tanguibolos and Abanilla. Good defense at the net here for NU. Austria denied, and that was uh, Abanilla had a hand at that. Tagwibolos with the serve. Chavez with the pass. Oh! And Austria gets one right back. And with a little bit of flair as well. Well, Austria means business. You know, he's tired of playing catch up. <laughs> that was an excellent hit from Austria. Good angle. <laughs> Abanilla fires one outside. And Abanilla apologizing to the bench. Yeah, there was no touch from the blockers, and he knew that as well. He wanted to get it back from Austria. This tiny little battle within the game is always fun to see. 14 all. Here in set number four, Bandola picking it up. Bello sets it up. A good block at the net by Rosales. Bandola on a cut shot. There's a block touch. And the Bulldogs back on top by one. Good play from NU. So Jam Jam Abanilla serving here. Not a good pass by Chavez. Also not a good receive by Hernandez. Oh, and miscommunication as Ortiales and Hernandez did not talk and they are unable to send it across the net 15 all. Well, that may be a costly error in the side of Edu. Hero with a serve and gets a little help from the net court. Ibus on top by one. A slim margin here in set number four. Austria, not in the top ten in serving, but uh, could certainly be in contention for a position there after that service. A 16-15, Ibus on top by one. back here at the game and this is NU versus Emo City with Emos up by one at 16 serving 15 Euro Austria at the service line it's a one point lead here for Emos over receive Bello trying to dump it good defensive play by Rosales battle at the net Rosales and uh, there was a touch yep. there was a touch from the side of NU Lions judge confirms that, and Mark Santos, our first referee, makes the decision. So a two-point lead here for Imu, 17-15. 
Big question is, can Imus protect this lead or even add to it? Uh, they've struggled. And that is the reason why uh, errors for both teams have been their weakness. Third service error on the side of Imus here in this set. So Badola will serve. They're just down by one and several occasions and you they've shown they can come back. Good pass by Chavez. There's a net touch by NU. Imus back on top by two. Rosales, a smile on his face. Maklang with a good pass. Aleko, Rosales with a dig. Taneo sets it up. Back row, Austria with enough speed. Good coverage by Maklang. Bello sets it up. Austria picking it up. Taneo. Malabunga with a dump. So far, and you're not able to find a solution with the dump of Malabunga. And Taneo making some good decisions here. Coming in to replace Ispulvarosa midway through this set four. Good pass by Bandola. Haleko. Saura sends it to Taneo. Again, Malabunga with a push. Back to back points by Kim Malabunga. This is the biggest lead of Imus at four points. 20 16. Taneo trying to, with Taneo trying to keep under the pace fast, going for a lot of fast plays. Yeah, time out here by National University. We'll listen in. Hey! National University looking to uh, cut into this four-point deficit by Imus. It's all going to be on the shoulders of the young setter, Joseph Bello. Veterans Malabunga, Muhali, Taneo leading the way here for Imus. Imus leading two sets to one. Haleko rejected by Malabunga. Three straight points already. Or was that Taneo? We'll check. But either way, a great defensive play at the net for Ibus. And now they're up by their biggest lead at five points. And just four points away from uh, winning this match. A poor pass there. Service ace for Rosales as Ibus finally looking comfortable in the late stage of set number four. Maklang unable to receive it, and NU will burn their final timeout. We'll listen in. Say sa tayo, kaya pa naman yan. Napakalayo pa yan. Ha? Sige lang. Huwag <laughs> mag-pressure, ha? Pre sa isa lang tayo. Sa isa. Ha? Sa isa. Go, go, go. Malayo pa yan. Mayroon na naman yung harap nila, eh. Kaya naman natin, ano, pepensa doon. Basta isang receive lang muna. Isang receive. Isang receive. Isang receive lang. Receive one tayo, ha? Receive one. Bilo! Bilo! Bilo pa rin. Well, let's see if they can respond positively. They uh, were outscored 2-0 mm -hmm. after the last timeout. Let's see if they can bounce back here. Still a pretty calm timeout there for NU. <laughs> Bulldogs looking uh, just for their second win in the Open Conference. Serve is outside, so Rosales will give it up. It's a five-point game. Gonna be a big serve for Leo Ortiales. And no room for errors on the side of yep. venue, of course. Good serve. Taneo. Malabunga. And don't look now. Taneo. A part of the offense via an attack. There's a kill by Taneo, the setter. It's back to a six-point lead for Imus. Take a look here, over-receive, and Taneo got excited, went for it, got the kill. 
Nobody expected that from the side <laughs> of NU. Serve is outside again. And Imus with a comfortable advantage here. They're up by five. Fifth service error on the side of Imus for this set. And that uh, gives Enyu a free point. But then again, of course, Enyu would need to really fight for this. Austria with a good pass. Saura blocked. It goes outside. And Imus with six match points here, 24-18. A oh, bad pass. Chance to close it out. Taneo, who does he go to? Saura. Uh, set was bad and Saura touched the net. So a match point thrown away by Imus. And they still have five though. And coach Sami Akailar not taking any chances. We'll burn a timeout here and set things in order for Imus. We'll listen in. you got to love how Coach Sammy Akarlar just breaks it down so easily. Mm -hmm. Spent, Very specific yeah. with what he wants to happen inside. So he's really, you know, like laying down the script yep. for the players. So let's see how they would be executing this. Uh, that's actually quite a good play that Coach Sammy wanted to have. Once a uh, match point given up, five more to go for Imus. And there it is. Hero, Austria, the hero of the day and delivers the final blow as Imus wins it in four sets. Take another look at the last play. Well, well orchestrated play and I'm sure that is how Coach Sammy wanted it to go. A little hiccup in the second set for Imus but they bounced back big time in the last two sets and uh, really had a good momentum, good lead and they protected it in set number four. Uh, Imus will win two in a row and go up in the standing 7-3. We'll take a quick break and come back with our best player of the game and the wrap-up.
You're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2023, and what a second game that was for our triple header today, this Sunday. And of course, joining me now is the best player of the game from Emo City, Aja Spikers. Hello, Hero Austria. Hello, po. Yes, kamusta? <laughs> okay, lang ito. Medyo happy kasi nanalo kami ngayong game. Yes, of course. Tapos ikaw, 22 points. Um, I think it was 20 attacks and then 16 excellent receptions. Now, I want to know, Hero Austria, last game, syempre, player of the game ka rin. Ano yes, ba po. yung motivation mo to keep this performance going? Um, ayun nga, yung motivation ko is sinasabi lagi sa akin ni Kosam na huwag kang magsawa na gumaling at lumakas at kung ano man, kung nasan ka man na ngayon, huwag mong pigilan yung sarili mo. I-improve mo nang improve yung sarili mo. Lagi mong isip yung inspiration yung family mo. Yes. Now, Hero, syempre naikwenta sa akin ni Coach Sammy kanina na parang medyo um, naiilang pa rin kayo sa sistema niya. You're still learning his system, perfecting his system. So, ano yung natutunan mo today um, about his system in today's game? Uh, yun na, kumbaga ako, sanay na ako kay Coach Sam kasi sa college nga, Coach 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 Sam. Kumbaga, yung ibang team lang, ibang teammate ko lang yung medyo naiilang pa kasi nga hindi pa nila gaano kilala si Coach Sam. Kumbaga, pinapakasamahan muna nila yung kung ano man yung kung paano man magkosikot sa Yes, okay. Thank you so much, Hero, and congratulations. You did awesome today. Thank you so much po. Yes, once again, this is Hero Austria of Emo City Aja Spikers. Back to you, Eric and Ivy. Thank you, Ayana. Congratulations, Hero Austria. First 20-point performance in the last three games. He had 7 against Cotabato, 19 against Iluido, but 22 mm -hmm. huge points right. today. Yes, this four set better, win, Ivy. better for Hero and you know, I think, again, more than just the, the the points that he contributed, he also did very well on the floor, you know, trying to keep that ball alive, keeping the, the reception steady. And uh, in set four, we've seen a lot of those, those sequences where uh, he helped with the reception. And uh, it was an exciting uh, set number four. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you know? A lot better uh, in terms of control, in terms of uh, highlights, uh, especially of versus set number three. Right. Uh, Imus really stepping up, had more control of the set, especially down the stretch. And of course, that's partly because of Hiro Austria with his great performance. Yes, and this is the control that we're talking about in set number four. And Imus just, you know, having all the opportunities for attack, 16 attack points, and Enyu not able to convert any of those opportunities into much points, only seven. And uh, while Enyu still fared better defending the net, both did well and at the service line, it's it's the aggressiveness of Emos here in this set that they wanted to make sure they get the win and, uh, of course, solidify their chances to being in the top four spot and moving on to the next round. Well, two games down, one more to go. Coming up, this is going to be huge. Cotabato taking on Vanguard. You know, final game of your Sunday a triple header. Thank you to our director, Christian Encarnacion, for Ayana Perlas, Ivy Rimulia. I'm Eric Kiman. Thanks for watching. Imus goes up to 7-3 and three in the standings as they take down NU that goes down 1-7 and seven in a four-set win. Hero Austria, the hero once again with 22 huge points. One more game coming up. Cotabato, Vanguard, next right here on One Sports.